want to talk about Whoopi Goldberg because I got so many texts this week because she attacked me the week yeah, before. Sure. So she was, everybody was like, oh, Bill, I get you're enjoying the karma. <laughs> First of all, I'm going to talk about this at the end of my show next week, teaser. But uh, there is no fucking thing as karma, okay? Get over that. <laughs> <laughs> Whoopi. <laughs> attacks me on a regular basis. She says stupid shit on a regular basis. It just happened to coincide. Yeah. But can I just say this? <laughs> I had on last week Ira Glasser, former longtime head of the ACLU, talking about free speech. Whoopi Goldberg, who, by the way, I hope is still a friend. We can disagree with each other. Should not be canceled or put off her show as much as I totally disagree with her crazy statement. Free speech. She should be there. She shouldn't get a timeout. Not every single thing has to be for everybody. Right. We can have platforms that have stuff on them that not everyone on that platform or who consumes stuff on that platform enjoys. And The View <laughs> is a particularly weird place to do a cancellation. <laughs> it's called it's, The View? It's called The View. It's not called The Facts. Yeah, but, it's, it's, but isn't it interesting that it's called... It's a, I mean, I don't think they meant this when Barbara Walters invented it a long time ago, but it's The View. Well... That's the problem in America. But there clearly, is one view. Right, and one that's clearly actually... One true opinion, and everybody else can go sit in the corner. That's correct. I think that's not... Actually, you're right, the name raises questions, and certainly there's been some uh, much-covered internal politics on that show, but I do think that, you know, there is space. Even that show does have space. When, when Whoopi said what she said, there was quick pushback from other they panelists. They were like, oh, that. I don't know. Actually, I think that might not be also, right. Part, can, can we, That's it. Mission just, accomplished. We talked about it. Can we just understand that part of our sorry racial history in this country is that the point of view from a black person is often going to be very different and sometimes shocking to a white person. I pulled the quote from when Whoopi defended Michael Vick. Remember Michael mm, Vick was the football the player who was electrocuting dogs? Yeah. And I'm a lifelong PETA board member. You know? Okay. Also... Also someone who believes the Nazis were very racist. Okay. Oh, you. But here's what she said about Michael Vick. He's from the South. This is part of his cultural upbringing. For a lot of people, dogs are sport. Instead of just saying he's a beast and he's a monster, this is a kid who comes from a culture where this is not questioned. But okay? You see the point here? I'm Again, I don't agree with her on Michael Vick, but we grew up in two different worlds which the white people imposed upon the black people. They are going to ver sometimes have a very different opinion. And the answer is not to make them sit in a corner for two weeks. That is insulting. It's so insulting um, to make a 65-year-old... I mean, the, the person at ABC News said, I've asked her to take time to reflect and learn about the impact of her comments. Reflect. How insulting for someone of her age, who's yeah. a sophisticated person, and the, the impact of her comments. There is no impact. There aren't uh, neo-Nazis waiting for the green light <laughs> from the lady on The View <laughs> to go out and do a new crystal knot. Yeah, yeah, so right. And the, the whole point of free speech is we don't need free speech when we're right, when everyone agrees with right. us. We need free speech when we're wrong. We need free speech to make mistakes. We need free speech yes. to say really unpopular things. And one of the things I'm, one of the reasons I'm always proud to come on this show, and I'm, I suspect you feel the same way, Catherine, is this is the only space left on television where people can speak freely and not be terrified, <laughs> right? Yes. And you, you have, you oh, know, yes. and I, wanna, I, I just want to say that, you know, I'm, I'm conscious that you have the scars on your back for fighting to keep oh, yeah. that there from 9/11. Oh. I'm right sure to I'll get them tonight, years, right? And it's uh, hugely to your credit that you fought to do well, that. Thank that you. That is hard. Finish right? your thought. <laughs> no, <that's... laughs> no, let him talk.